Hey, what's up everybody? This is Pastor Chad Blackman with another installment of The Weekly. And today, what I want to talk to you about is what do we do when it seems like God isn't answering our prayers? I don't know about you, but for me, this is one of the most discouraging, difficult things about Christianity. When we're praying and we're asking the Lord to do something, but it just seems like He's not doing anything, this can be incredibly difficult. And what I want to share with you today are are three questions, three questions that we've got to ask ourselves when it just seems like God isn't answering our prayers. The first question is this, is there any kind of sin, is there any kind of disobedience I'm walking in that has gone unrepented? Um, Now, as Christians, we're going to struggle. As Christians, we're going to make mistakes. That's not what I'm talking about. What I am talking about is just a constant, habitual, over and over and over sin where we just keep doing it over and over. There's no repentance. There's no life change. There's no struggle. There's no battle against it. And and if that's the case, Isaiah 59 talks about how when we live like that, yes, God can still save us, but that text says that he doesn't listen to the prayers of those that are just walking in constant disobedience. So if it seems like God isn't answering our prayers, the first thing we need to ask ourselves, is there any unrepentant sin in my life? The second question we need to ask ourselves, am I praying with faith or am I praying with doubt? I know that may sound kind of weird to pray with doubt, but I catch myself all the time going before the Lord, praying, and and really in my heart of hearts, not believing that God can do the things that I'm asking of Him. In James chapter 1, the little brother of Jesus says that if we pray like that, if we pray with doubt and pray with a double mind, the Lord doesn't answer those kinds of prayers. And so when we catch ourselves kind of praying but filled with doubt, what we want to do is ask God, help us. Help us to truly believe. Help us, despite our disbelief, to really believe what we're praying. The third question that we want to ask ourselves is this. Is this God's will? In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is explaining to his disciples what it looks like to pray. And at the very end of his kind of list, of his description of praying, He says, pray that the Lord's will be done and that his kingdom comes. So that means, yes, we ask. That means, yes, we request things of God. But at the end of the day, we hold his will. We hold his plan above our own plan. If it seems like God is not answering your prayers, it might just be because it's not a part of his will or it is a part of his will, just not right now. There are times where you can pray with great faith and and be living out obedience, but the Lord will still say no or just not yet. If you're in the season right now where it feels like God is not answering your prayers, you're not alone. You're not the only one that's felt that. I certainly have felt it. Scores of other men and women who've walked faithfully with Jesus have felt that. Keep praying, keep seeking the Lord, and ask these three questions. Am I walking in any kind of disobedience? Am I praying with faith? And last but not least, is this the will of God? God bless you all. I hope this helps, and we'll see you next week.